three, two, one. Oh yeah, it's time for Mr. Thrift. What's going on everybody? Mr. Thrift here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're in downtown Cape Girardeau where I live and we are gonna go check out a pretty cool antique store here. But before we do that, I, uh, I pulled into town and I was realizing, I was like, man, it is popping down here. Cause this antique store is downtown. And, oh, uh, I think they recognize me. No, uh, but it's down here and that's where all the bars are. So Saturday nights, it's gonna be busy. But I thought, hey, let's go check out this beforehand. But I was like, man, it's really busy for a day. I realized why, big old uh, river boats here. So we're gonna go and uh, I'll show you that before we get into pastime antiques. There it is, guys, the Titanic here in Cape Girardeau. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, American Queen. That's pretty cool. I know they kind of comes through the Mississippi sometimes. You got all these people down here. Like, man, everyone's checking this out. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Down on the Mississippi. All right, guys. Now back to scheduled programming. Here we are, pastime antiques. Let's go in see what they got. Pretty sweet place. Pictures of the bridge. Check out this John Wall, old school jersey. Oh, and I love how dollar toys right here at the front. You know me. Oh man, uh, which one's that from uh, the Bears? Guys, this is probably the biggest antique store, flea market, whatever you want to call it here. I guess antique store, uh, probably that we have in town. And yo, look at the castles. Pretty cool. Is that Alcatraz? <laughs> nah, that'd be cool. Check the Scumby out. 24 giant Darth, Darth Vader Pez. Pretty cool. So I haven't been in here in about a year, so since last summer. Got the T-Rex. Oh, our first pop. Dale Earnhardt in his car. It's pretty cool. 15, that's probably what it's going for. Look at that dark night pin. That's pretty sick. It's good to always wait a while before you come into places because you don't know what you're gonna find. You know, they gotta have time to restock. We're Cardinals, Blues fans here. I got so many of these, but it's cool to, it's cool to look at. This is definitely one of my favorite booths. Look at this. Pez of the Enterprise. I've never seen that. That's pretty cool. Oh, also, I don't know, I might have to cover it up because I don't know how, you know, I don't want to get copyrighted, but they play like 50s, 60s music in here. I love it. Another couple of Funkos. <laughs> Look at that. 18. The American Chopper Boys Pez Dispenser. That's pretty good. Or Orange County Chopper, I'm sorry. Pretty cool. Is this not cool? It is a mug of all kinds of rides at uh, Six Flags Saint, or Six Flags, but it's in Georgia. Six bucks, not bad. Found something pretty cool back here. Oh, there's a Hillary doll. Kiss a lot, Peter Chris. I used to have some of those back in the day. I wish I still had them. Marshall Falk. One of the great running backs. Part of the greatest show on turf. You know, if you were a St. Louis fan, the late 90s, 
You know what it's all about. Look at this. Dr. Dreadful Zombie Lab? Never heard of that. Here's some games. Any game? Oh, Prince Caspian. Three bucks for some of these? That's not terrible. What's Arkham? Five. So not terrible on the game prices. One of my favorite movies. All time. All my life. A Silver Surfer with Howard the Duck. I didn't even know that was a thing. That is too cool. Toys! Toys! Two dollars each? Ugh. Got an Oliver. Oliver. Huh. Uh, not anything I need. A couple of comics. And now we get into the military section. <laughs> you know, I don't know values on some of that stuff, but I'm sure it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, check out. Look at that salt and pepper shaker. Guys, I'm a Coke fan. I love collecting that stuff. That is pretty cool. 17, not bad. more stuff pocahontas glasses you know guys i don't know if i mentioned this in previous videos but i'm starting to collect buttons or pins of like things i enjoy and another thing that i'd like to collect is matchbook books but not just any matchbooks like matchbooks um from places where i grew up or when i was a kid like crothersville hate time malden if i ever find any of those which probably won't those would be cool pickups. Annabelle. Oh, found a new booth. Might have to splurge. <gasps> the water boy. Okay, do y'all know how much some of these go for online? So, Titanic, six cents. Yeah. American Pie 2. Guys, definitely gonna have to look. They have a Home Alone 2 one. I'll lose it. Great, great soundtrack. I already have that tape. No wrestlers, but those zombie ones. Couple of little toys down here. Not bad so far. Guys, cartridge games you don't see anymore. Revenge. One of the greats. Look at all these games. They got Game Boy games. Oh. <gasps> I had that as a kid and I've been wanting to get it again. Three. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's what's crazy about the world. I had this as a kid, but you know, I don't know where my games were back home somewhere. But I've been searching online to find this one. Uh, and it's, you know, $10 somewhere around there. And I had just watched a like playthrough because I'm weird like that. Sometimes I like to watch people play through games. Just found, watched that like yesterday. So cool. Definitely getting that and some buttons. Got an Atari. Check out the shack. Guys, that's pretty cool. Wrestling DVDs. Oh, those are not wrestling. But one wrestling one. I was about to say, wrestling DVDs don't sleep on because they sell really, really good. Guys, did I mention that this is probably my favorite booth here now? <laughs> Look at it. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Still cool. Comics, CDs. Okay, if they have the Space Jam soundtrack. I will lose it. 
Nope. Oh well, keep looking. But you told me to comment, guys. Didn't even know that was the thing. Man, that last booth was too cool. Check this out. A couple more comics here. I kind of want to get into collecting some. Like, not a lot of them, but just some that look cool to keep, like, on the side to read if I ever want to read any. I see a couple that I might have to come back for one day. But look at the outside. It's all comics. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. You got the games. Ray Allen. It's got to be a one of his rookie years or early years yo that Thanos is sick pretty cool cameras always a cool thing oh there's more toys we're gonna come back look at this that Woody Mark, I think that's one like Mark got. Wow. Oh, baby pop. Pretty cool, guys. My grandpa gave me that. Look at that wiener mobile. Oh my gosh. Is that not cool? <laughs> I love it. Okay, what is it with these? They are, they are all over the store. Guys, I found the gold mine. Beanie Babies. You remember in the 90s, if you grew up in the 90s, when these things were supposed to be worth so much money. That Pelican though was always one of my favorites. <laughs> no telling how many of those I had. They even got the McDonald's ones. I was obsessed, as was everyone in the 90s. Paul gave me this last year, this summer, the 70 Mark McGuire home run thing. We're asking 10 here. It'll probably keep going up. Going up in value. Excellent choice to come here today. Look at that peanuts dispenser, 25 bucks. Is that not cool? <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh my gosh, my grandpa would love that. Waylon. Look at the crew, Barbie up there. For album cover only, no record, five bucks. You think I ain't gonna come back and get that one day? You got your mind. Packs of Pokemon cards, group arena. That's pretty cool. So I just met the owner of this booth in the past couple. I got that at the house. He said if I find anything, he'd make me a deal on it. It's like, of course, when I come and there's not any, I don't have as much money at the moment because I just got back from vacation. Jay clamp it. That's pretty cool. Man. How many of these did I have as a kid? Oh, another Jed Clankett. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Man, look at all of this. Guys, there's just so much. So much stuff. I love it. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Interactive. Darth Maul, Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan. Sick. 32 piece. Look at that giant Energizer bunny flesh. Stuff here, I highly recommend checking this out, guys. So much cool stuff. <laughs> guys, just when you think you're done, they have a 
downstairs area. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh man, Jedi Fred Bird. Yeah. We got the movies. Hey, one of my favorite sports movies, Disney movies, 90s movies. Love it. I actually watched that on the plane on the way back. And even though I've seen it so many times, I started tearing up on the plane when they won the, the game at the end. <laughs> right there. I didn't care. Check this out. The greenest. I've never seen that. It's a VHS. I'm not a Muhammad Ali fan. But that is pretty cool. I'm going to check out what that's going for. Hey, we got any people out there who love really wild animals? You can post that. I had no idea. I had no idea Alabama put out a Christmas album. Hmm. Maybe you're in your, your holiday section for sure. It's a Toy Story 10 down there. I don't know what that is. I guess that's for movies. I got Taz. No pain, no gain. Look at that giant goldfish. Uh, this or like, think at a gas station, you put all your goldfish packs on. Huh? Michael, what are you doing down here? Is that not sick? It's a holographic. Uh, or like one of those things, I don't know what they're called. 20 bucks. I will eventually get that. Guys, is there anything more 90s than a C3 phone? <laughs> I remember those. Hey, a little fact about the statue. So you keep one turtle dough, and then you give the other one to a friend, and you'll be friends forever. Boy, that's old. Guys, look at that Pac-Man game. Never seen anything like that. That's pretty cool. Teach them something about something. You know what I mean? That Disney princess thing is pretty cool. Cool. Oh. Hey guys. <laughs> wow, guys. What a crazy experience at Pastime Antiques. Like I said, it's been a year since I've been in there, and man, do they have some cool stuff. Picked up a couple of things. It was the wrong time to go in there because uh, they'll be closing soon. So I didn't get a chance to look super detailed. And also, man, all these bills just came out. So I don't have, I'm, I'm tight on cash and I only brought a little bit with me. But I did pick up some cool things. Let's get into what I got, I'll show you. All right, guys. So here's the pickups. Let's start first from that sweet booth. Probably my favorite booth in there. I got Star Wars Attack of the Clones on Game Boy Advance. I had this as a kid and I've been wanting to play it and I literally just watched a walkthrough video last night of that. Just goofing off. Uh, $3, it's not a high expensive game, but for three, I couldn't pass that up. And that same booth had all those buttons and like I'm getting into collecting pins and buttons and they had movie ones. And I was like, man, which one do I want? So it was between this one and the grease one. And I was like, you know what, I'll come back. I just didn't want to spend a lot of money in there today because I just got back from vacation. But I went ahead and picked this one up. It's probably this one and the first one I absolutely love, but I had to get The Mummy Returns. Oh, great movie, great button. And it comes out on uh, DVD and video October 2nd. So be on the lookout for it. So pick those up. And then the last one, that one booth, uh, pretty cool. I met the owner of like the four booths that's right around there. Not that one, but a, a different one with all the vinyls. And uh, man, he was just talking, he's an auctioneer and he had a bunch of cool stuff. And he gave, made me a deal and I couldn't pass this up because it wouldn't have been there next time. But I went ahead and I got Michael Jackson Thriller on vinyl five bucks it's just the album cover no vinyl but that'd be a sweet display piece over with the music stuff who doesn't love michael and because of that he threw in this 1984 
People Extra with Michael on it for free. And man, I wanna look, cause some old magazines can go for some money. So who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe I can flip that, make my money back. But yeah, all together, man, not, uh, not bad pickups at all. So really excited. Uh, I'll definitely be coming back in there. So guys, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, leave a like, comment, make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing that. We'll be hitting up more uh, flea markets, antique stores, all that stuff around here. Uh, especially with it getting that time where yard sales are going to start dying off. And I just haven't had a chance to go any. Nothing's really been out. So I'm going to make up for it going around doing this. So guys, until next time, I'm Mr. Thrip. He's King of Pop. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content.